are everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Pixel Pirate. Uh, last last episode we went ahead and researched the Oceanic mod, or the, oh yeah, I believe it's the Oceanic mod. Uh, there was one more thing I wanted to show you guys from that. Obviously I said we were going to do quite a bit more, but I wanted to show you guys this first. Look, I'm a turtle. I'm a freaking turtle. Wait, how do I show you? Oh, yeah, look, I'm a turtle. I'm wearing a turtle shell. Ow, look at that. Oh yeah, I'm a turtle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Wait. Oh, we're moving way too fast for a turtle. There we go. That seems about right. Yep. Everything we do should be at this speed now. No, I'm just playing. Okay, I'll <laughs> take that off. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys that. That was pretty cool. Uh, I saw that on the mod pitch. Now there is there is a few more things that I want to do, but like I said, we're gonna have to hold out for that. Uh, we'll put the turtle shell in the uh, in the valuable stuff chest now. What we need to do is, first of all, uh, here's here's the major plan, right? We want to go out to this ocean, and we want to go to an area that really hasn't spawned in too much yet, which is probably along this shore here. But the problem is, is we don't have a way to the ocean. We can fly to the edge, and we can get over here, right? So, you know, we can fly, or we can, yeah, we can get in our airship, and we can fly to the edge, and we can just go out on a boat. But I'm thinking, you know what? It's time to do it in true pirate fashion, and we need to build ourselves a boat. But to do that, why would, like, we'd build a boat, but that still wouldn't help us travel, right? Well, I'm thinking that if we go ahead and make a Tinker's Construct spade, or, uh, yeah, a spade, then we can work our way through here, right? We'll just cut this a little bit deeper, we'll cut in here a little bit deeper, and then we'll come right out here, and then we can come to the ocean this way, and we can come on out right there. So that's my idea. Today we're going to be constructing the Tinker's Construct act, uh, Spade. I apologize. Um, but first we need, to, we need to take a few steps. So let's go ahead and drop this off in here. Now, um, the thing we're going to make is we're going to be making Alumite. Alumite is made with um, iron ore. And then obviously we have obsidian and iron here. So I said aluminum ore. Did I say iron ore? We need aluminum ore. Um, Iron and obsidian. Now I think it's a 2 to 5 ratio. So that means I think that it's... Two aluminum, two obsidian, and then five iron for, I'm not sure if it's one ingot or how many ingots you get from it, but I'm sure we'll see right now. Uh, now, alumite is the strongest thing you can get in the overworld without going to the nether, and it is used to get the things in the nether. Remember that uh, other episode when we went to the nether and we saw that cobalt? Uh, this should be able to pick up cobalt uh and it is the only thing that you can craft in the overworld that can make cobalt. Now, Asterisk, there is another thing you can craft. Uh, you need to melt down chainmail armor. Now, the problem with melting down chainmail, there we go. How do we have one nugget of molten aluminum? Maybe it's maybe it's seven aluminum. Per every seven aluminum, you get one ingot? Really? Oh, wait, no, we have one nugget of aluminum. Five nuggets of iron. Where's our, oh, there's our alley, Mike. Two ingots. Oh, no, stop it then, stop it. Okay, so so it, it has definitely has a different thing. But here we can it's barely down there. We can barely click it. Okay, so we have two ingots. We're gonna need three actually. So let's go ahead and drop another one in there. I got a little bit excited there. Now I think um, yeah okay we, we should have enough. We'll, we'll be good. Um, anyway yeah so so the idea is is that you can make steel as well by melting down chainmail. But if you if you wanted to take a look in our chests, obviously we don't have any unused or un undamaged chain mail so we're gonna have to hold off on that now um we are gonna make our pick uh it doesn't have to be a great pick but i figured you know what if we're gonna do it we might as well do it right um we already have this pick but i figured we'll, we'll do another one uh so what we're gonna want is we're gonna want obsidian um we're gonna want an obsidian um what is it oh wait we need to make more another pattern don't we yeah we we need to make um some some better patterns for stuff. So we need we need an obsidian um, tool binding, but in order to make that, we first need to put in some paper, or or something along those lines. I think sticks will work uh, to make a wooden tool binding. Yes, it does. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and pour some gold out on top of that, and that should go ahead and give us our um, our cast. So let's go ahead and get some gold out from over here. I think I saw some up here, like thirty ingots. Yeah, thirty one ingots. Nice. Uh, so we'll only drop a few in. Actually, you know what? We might have some already uncooked gold. Yeah, we do. So instead of instead of dropping the cooked the gold already in there, we'll just double up our gold here and drop this in here. Now let's go ahead and look at this. See how many we have now. 
Uh, L, you might. Three ingots, three nuggets. It's perfect. Um, like I said, we're going to wait for this gold to pour. Uh, what else can we do? We can make paper. Do we have uh, any paper down here? We do not. Okay, let's run outside in front or to the side, and we'll go get our, our sugar, some sugar cane. We have a sugar cane farm around this corner, right? Yeah, of course we do. I knew it. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and grab, just grab a little bit. We don't need much. There we go. And we'll grab a, There we go. So we have six pieces of paper. Oh, it doesn't work in there. Oop. My bad. Let's go ahead and do it in a real craft table, I guess. We can't shortcut anything. Gosh. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do this. Uh, there we go. And now we're going to go ahead and make the uh, handle out of this. And then we're going to pour an obsidian thing, like I said. So we'll dump this on here. And let's go ahead and make the handle at the same time out of paper. Here's our paper tool rod. Nice. And then uh, our binding, once again, like I said, we'll take out the wood and we'll drop obsidian in the bottom and we'll make our binding out of obsidian. There we go. So now we have our obsidian binding. Um, actually, you know what we should do? Uh, and this is this is a, another trick that I was taught on my stream, is that if we break this tool station, obviously we need to upgrade it. Uh, actually, let me look at that. Um, it's called Tool Forge, I believe. And I think we need it for our... Um, yeah, we need it for our other thing anyway. Okay, we need blocks of aluminum. No, we don't need blocks of aluminum. I know it can take iron. Yeah. Okay, so we'll grab... Ooh, we have the perfect amount of seared bricks. Are you serious? That's awesome. Okay, so there's our seared bricks. And then I, I saw some iron blocks up here at the top. I'm sorry. We, we're all running around quite a bit, I know. But it'll be worth it in the end, I promise. So now let's go ahead and make ourselves a tool forge. Tool forges allow you to make extra tools. Um, specifically, I believe the hammer, uh, which does a 3x3 three three block uh, mining and things like that. So let's go ahead and set this guy down here. Now, I, I set it one away on purpose so that we can grab this crafting station and, uh, and plop it down right next to it instead of where it was before. And now, um, not only, obviously, we have more tools, like I said, up here, um, but you can also use this crafting station to add modifiers you see how this menu is over here now so like let's say i wanted to do redstone i could put this in here and then surround it in redstone here instead of having to put one redstone and then two pieces of redstone in here and just keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it uh we can do it in the uh in the crafting station now which is pretty awesome so now let's go ahead and pour our, our aluminite or not aluminum aluminite uh, alumite sorry it's a mouthful i know uh let's go ahead and drop this and then here we go and we'll go ahead and drop our alumite pick it's a nice pink color uh if you've never seen it i don't know that we can on the side yeah you can see it just a little bit at the bottom there i think uh and then let's go ahead and grab this and now we will go ahead and make this pick um out of our three pieces that we just made it should make writable uh yeah mining level cobalt and uh reinforce three so there we go that's our alley might pick now we can add other things to it obviously which we're going to right away let's go grab a diamond and emerald and then um what else yeah all right we'll do, grab two diamonds uh one emerald and then what else is there anything else up here that we can put on it we can put lapis or redstone and stuff but that stuff uh we would need much much more of in order to add it so we're not going to bother with that right now right now we're just worried about uh making the durability last a little bit longer let's go ahead and pour ourselves some gold uh into a gold block here uh, so that it becomes more rideable. Now I'll show you what I meant. Uh, you can drop this guy here, obviously, and then we can add this diamond. So now that will add 500 durability. It's kind of hard to see actually with the um, NEI. So let me go ahead and turn that off for you. Now it went from um, here. I'll show you. It went from 200 durability, I think. Uh, I, I'm sure if I drop it, maybe in this table, it'll tell me. Uh, 210 durability to 710 durability, right? So there we go, 710 plus 500 durability. And then plus our emerald 50%, so 10, uh, 1,065 durability. So that's even better. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and take this gold block and this uh, diamond, and we'll, we'll do it in this table so I can show you what I was talking about. And it, instead of having two modifiers remaining, it now has three modifiers remaining. So if we ever want to add anything else to it, we can add three. Uh, we don't need to add really obsidian plates because that's why we made the obsidian cross binding because it makes it reinforce three um so yeah now we have our alumite pick uh we need to go to the nether so let's go ahead and head out there right now now we're gonna look for cobalt uh and ardite uh cobalt and ardite are the two main components now cobalt and Ar ardite are where's our portal Where'd I put our portal? Wasn't it back here? I thought it was just around this corner. Ah uh, how am I so turned around in this world? I play it all the time. Oh it's over here. Ah uh -huh, I remember now. Okay so Anyway, so uh, cobalt and ardite. Uh, cobalt is 
the best mineable material. Now you can combine cobalt and ardite for, and for some tools that's a lot better. Uh, it's called manilion, I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, I, I always get it wrong and people always make fun of me. But uh, yeah, and so so right here we have our ardite. Ardite can be, like I said, picked up with this uh, pickaxe, this alumite pickaxe. See, there we go, and now we actually get the resources instead of losing them. So we'll pick up two of these, and then what else? Now, I should, I should mention that cobalt obviously is stronger than ardite. Cobalt will increase your, your durability by quite a bit, but ardite has this thing called stonebound. And stonebound, the more you use something, the more it will actually uh, increase in speed, and the more speed you add to it, the more durability it will add. So it's, it's a very, very cool mechanic that they've added. Um, I kind of wanted to make the, the shovel head out of ardite, so I'm okay with only finding ardite. Uh, I wanted to see if we can get some, some cobalt maybe just for the future. So that we might be able to, um, I'm sorry, I get nervous around Pikmin. Uh, we might, we might be able to use that later. Was there, wasn't there, wasn't there some like right here and then I lost it because I didn't know what I was doing and we picked the wrong thing. I remember all this. Uh, hello? Hello? Yeah, I, I guarantee that there's cobalt around here. Oh, where was it? I remember seeing it and I was like, ooh, that's cobalt, but I don't want to risk it. Oh, wait, no, that's where that Ardite was, right? Right up there. So Cobalt was, like, right down here, right? I'll be right back with you guys once I find uh, I find our piece that we had uh, lying around here. Okay, you guys, so I looked around for quite a while, I'm not going to lie, and uh, and I just didn't run into it. Uh, I, I could have sworn that there was another piece besides the one that we had ruined, um, but it would appear... To, uh, to no avail, so we may have to come back another time and do it, but like I said, we have our Ardite, so I mean, we uh, let's just count our wins and not our losses, and, uh, and, and go back over to the overworld now. Let me go ahead and sleep, and then we are going to go ahead and move on to the next thing with this Ardite. Uh, yeah, so just give me a second. Oh no! Are you kidding me? Oh wait, that's the wrong, that's the wrong pick. I was like, why isn't this breaking? There we go. All right, and here we are back. I came downstairs. I wanted to look at the effective durability of this guy right here. Uh, yeah, so it's durability 789 with a mining speed of 11. This one is uh, uh, 1,000 with, with the slower mining speed, cause, but that's just because we have the haste added onto this pick. So I figured we'd, we'd store this pick in here and we can use this one for a while. Um, just because if we die, we're not going to want to lose them both. Uh, so to be safe, we're, we're going to do that. Now, let's go ahead and start crafting our Ardite pick. Uh, our, our, not our Ardite pick, our Ardite spade. Uh, we'll go ahead and pour that. Now, I think two should be fine for the amount we're going to need. But let me go ahead and double check. Now, this is what we're going to bake. It's called the excavator. I kept saying spade or shovel, but that's that's incorrect. I, I wanted to make the excavator. Now, the excavator, uh, it does that area of effect 3 by 3 like I was saying. Durability is usually average. So what are we going to need? We're going to need a large tool binding, which I know we don't have, and a large tool rod, which I know we don't have a pattern for um right yes uh so let's go ahead and, and first of all craft some so we have one pattern thing we need another we need another one though so let's go ahead and just craft that real quick remember the patterns is just like this and there we go now we have some brand new blank patterns and then we'll go ahead and go in here and we will craft both of those so here's the head we need that i know for a fact we need the large binding right there and then we're also going to need the large tool rod like that now let's go ahead and drop all of these uh, or drop this back in here, and then we will put these guys where they belong in here. Now, we're going to first make our uh, excavator head, I apologize, out of, of just any material we can. Uh, it doesn't really matter as long as it can be made. Uh, oh, no. I thought wood was going to work. Is it, is it not? Maybe, uh, maybe, do we have cobble in here? Uh, no. Okay, so let's go, let's run upstairs and grab some cobble from our barrels really quick. Or our barrel, I should say, really quick. Um, this, we shouldn't need much, though. Come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm still getting used to that barrels mod. I'm, it's, it's very new to me, uh, and it's not used very often, so, um, I just, I don't, I don't catch on to it. So now let's go ahead and create this. Okay, it looks like it's gonna need eight. Holy crap. But that's because cobble's kind of a crappy material. It's okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and right-click this, and now let's go ahead and take out our gold again. Make sure that's on the bottom, and pour that around there, and then we should be able to... Um, put this head back in here. Now let's go ahead and also craft our tough binding. Uh, I don't know what we should make the tough binding out of. We should probably make it out of something uh, paper. We'll make them all out of paper, actually. So does this need more? Yeah, holy crap, we're going to need a lot of paper. 
Okay, well, this is poured already, and we're still here, so let me go do this real quick. So obviously we have this, and now let's go ahead and look for our Ardite, four ingots, nice. And then we'll go ahead and tap this into here. Now hopefully four ingots will fill this up uh, fully. Oh no, four is not enough? Are you serious? Okay, so this is what's going to happen, you guys. I'm going to go to the nether. I'm going to find us some more Ardite, and I'm also going to grab us some more paper. I will see you here in a second. All right, so I went mining a little bit, and I ended up covering up some lava over here, and there's some Ardite right here. Just waiting for the lava to clear up so we can get it safely. I figured I'd show you guys that I had found it, but it was pretty far away. I don't know if this will be enough, so I think I'm going to look, keep my eye out for one more block out here before we, uh, before we go ahead and call it quits and head back home. Okay, and I found a huge opening, and it seems like there, yeah, there's a couple more pieces of Ardite right here, and that should be uh, more than enough, hopefully, to get us to what we need. So uh, I figured I'd just show that I f had found this really big opening uh, because it might be useful to us at some point. In all honesty, like uh, if there's like another fortress, maybe we can look for or something like that. Uh, if we ever need need something like that, we can. What are those? Oh, those are lucky blocks in the nether. No thanks. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to head home. Ooh, more Ardite. Really cool. Yeah, so I'm going to head home at you guys, and uh, and I'll see you guys when I'm back in front of the Tinker's Construct. Smeltery with, with the Ardite already melted down for you. All right, so we are waiting on this Ardite to go ahead and finish up heating up. I know I said I'd, I'd talk to you when it was done, but we have something else to do while we're here. Uh, we're just going to make this paper tool binding. Um, and then finally, we need to make the handle out of something, the large the large handle. Um, now, my thoughts were, were, why don't we make it out of... Um, Something like that as well, like like something stronger, I guess, as well. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what we should make it out of. If, if I had found cobalt, I probably would be doing it out of cobalt, no joke. Um, but I, I haven't found anything like that. So why don't we just make it double writable for right now, uh, which is just another paper tool. Uh, I mean, I, that's probably our best choice. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the spade one more time. And uh, now we have these two. We're about to do the, um, the finish off the head. There we go. Let's put Ardite on the bottom. And we'll go ahead and finish pouring that. Now, I'm not sure how many it will need total. I think I had 12 ingots or, or 16 ingots in here. So it looks like it needed eight for the head, which is good that we grabbed some extra. Now, let's go ahead and grab this. Uh, and we, we need to make a plate for it. Now, we're going to make the plate out of our obsidian so that we have reinforced three on it as well. Now, let's go ahead and, and wait for that to go. Uh, this also caused uh, costs eight obsidian. Um, what else do we need to grab while while uh, while we wait for that? Uh, now, now that I think about it, there's not really anything we can grab. Now let's go ahead and make uh, make it all together now. So this is our excavator. Now we probably should name it uh, the we'll, we'll name it the uh, the trusty spade, okay? Because because spade seems way more piratey, right? Trusty spade. Yeah, I think I think that seems like a lot more piratey than. Than anything else okay so now let's go ahead and it says mining speed 7.5 mining level cobalt modifier and we have 545 now like i said this thing should be stone bound so um which basically means that it will speed up the more the more durability it has so why don't we go ahead and do the same thing we did before where um first of all we poured some gold do we have enough gold no we don't have enough gold to pour so we should have enough in here though let's go ahead and take out nine pieces of gold oh just one too many not a big deal uh, oop, well, we won't use that crafting table. We'll use the crafting table up at the top when we get there. Um, and we're also going to grab our two pe two diamonds and one emerald as well. So two diamonds. And like I said, the durability goes up as you add stone, I believe. So, uh, or not as you add stone, as you use it. So, no, geez, that's wrong as well. The durability will go up as we increase the haste on it. So that's what we're going to add. We're probably going to add redstone at some point, but obviously we can't do that right now um, because we don't have enough redstone to do so. So now, like now it has six modifiers, and now we will add our diamond. So it's 1,045, which is even higher or as high as our pick now. What is our pick? Uh, I don't really remember here. Let me go ahead and... Oh, that's the wrong crafting table to do that in. This one will tell us. Uh, yeah, so... 
this one has literally 20 more durability and we haven't even added the emerald yet so this only has 20 more durability and now it's going to bump up like crazy 1575 there we go and that is our trusty spade now the thing is is like i said we we need to add some modifiers i think it has what, what was it six modifiers available but then we used two so it's got four modifiers available so we can use haste three times which i believe is 150 redstone and then we can use something else i'm not sure exactly what we'll use yet but we'll, we'll figure something else that will go cool on the speed spade uh now let's go ahead and, and head outside before we finish up the episode and uh and test it let's see let's see how fast really this baby digs and everything right after we teach these guys a lesson um there we go that, that's fine okay so now like i said uh come on you gotta give me a break man i'm just trying to show off a shovel here no okay i i'm sorry i'm sorry uh, i i didn't load the bayonet fast enough okay we got him okay so yeah i want to show this off so uh it does a three by three so boom see three by three we'll pick up all nine pieces and then you can pick up all nine pieces this is not the fastest shovel but it's pretty fast now uh you can do it uh, if you do it on top obviously there's a three by three that way but if you do it um i should probably actually i can just dig down again here and i can show you if i go ahead and place down some sand hop hop and hop there we go and now this if you do it on that side it will take out three that way so yeah that is the spade uh or the excavator as they call it in tinker's construct um it's going to help us, like I said, move all that land so that we can get a bunch of water in that area. I'll go ahead and show that to you one more time. Now, I know we could use something like mining turtles or, or something along those lines, but I think we're going to keep a traditional pirate and we're just going to dig away. Like I said, it shouldn't take very long at all, especially with this big excavator, to, to run through here. And I'll probably do it off of screen anyway, um, either between this episode and the next episode or next episode and the episode after that. I'm not 100% sure yet, but like I said, we're trying to, we're trying to craft our way to the ocean so that we can finally have a ship that we can take out of there it's not going to be a big ship obviously because it's going to go through the small places and then once we we want our big ship we'll probably we'll probably set up camp somewhere else before we do that so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed please remember to hit that like button uh, if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button if you're not new to the channel and you've been here a while and you really like my stuff and you can't wait to see the next episode um i do pre-upload onto another website called game wisp um you can find that uh in my game wisp video as well as i I think I'm starting to drop links to Game Wisp in the description down below. And what you can do is you can pay $5 a month and you get um, all of my videos a week early, which is pretty cool if that's what the kind of thing you're into. Uh, like I said, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you all really have a great day. I really do. Uh, keep a smile on your face because, you know, things will always, uh, always get better. I'll see you later.